Derek Hines, a local chef and uh, jazz musician. What kind of jazz do you do? Uh, we play the standards. I'm a vocalist. So, um, you know, the songwriters of the last century, Burt Bacharach, the Gershwins, stuff like that. How do you get to be a jazz singer? <laughs> uh, I don't know how you become a jazz. You wake up one morning and decide that's what you want to do, I guess. Uh, it's a labor of love. I don't really have a choice in the matter. It just uh, kind of does it itself. All right, do you play instruments? Not in public. No. <laughs> uh, I play the guitar and I play the piano, yeah. but uh, just uh, for my own personal pleasure. Well, you did some jazz radio, didn't you? I did some jazz radio, actually, not too long ago. Uh, I made a donation in the spring to Jazz FM, and I uh, got the phone call in July, and uh, went in and recorded it at Jazz FM with Rob Porter, uh, Ross Porter, Ross Porter yeah. which was uh, a great deal of fun. And uh, yeah, it aired uh, the 3rd of October. You got that kind of cool cat jazz voice. So I'm told. It's by accident. Yeah, is it, is it? It's um, not whiskey and bourbon that gets that nice uh, resonance and. No, I've. Uh, Tam. I've stayed off the Sinatra diet. I've been <laughs> off the Sinatra diet for quite some time now, actually. Yeah, no. Frank used to love the. Uh, Frank used to love the Jack Daniels, and uh, well, as, as he said at the Sands, he even smoked me a couple of cigarettes. <laughs> well, here at the the Forty One downtown Kitchener, how, how's the burger? Fantastic. A really nice uh, medley, for lack of a better word, of uh, forest mushrooms. The seasoning's great. The burger's delicious. Yeah. Now, when you cook, what you do at a household, household China, you're the director of cooking school there. What do you see as the relationship uh, between food and uh, jazz? How do, you, how do you approach that, I guess? Well, for me, the similarity is, is that, uh, and we'll say cooking, because I, I think baking is completely different, but... but yeah. Less um, improvisation in baking? Exactly. The uh, baking, uh, baking is sort of like the metronome of, 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 uh, of music because uh, you, you have to keep in tempo uh, with yeah. the uh, structure. But yeah. uh, no, um, from a, there's a lot of improvisation with food, and I, I think that's where the, the real magic's made. Um, but just like jazz music, uh, the point is, is that there's a... A, a skill set of knowledge that one possesses and able uh, to be able to make it sound as if they are improvising, mm -hmm. uh, even though, you know, it's... You have a bite of a burger, I'll ask you a longer question so you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was uh, talking with Edwin Outwater, who incidentally is going to be at uh, Hustle China, I guess, in a couple of weeks with you, mm -hmm. um, and we asked about the relationship between uh, food and music, and he said some very, very interesting things, and I and I wrote about this, um, and it was kind of the question came down to what comes first: does the music inspire the food, or does the food somehow inspire the music? Vice versa, whatever, whatever the order is. Where do you see it landing? When you think about if you're standing in your kitchen and you're listening to music, does it inspire you to prepare food in a different way, or are you thinking about food and you think? Oh, I know what piece would go really well with this, and bang, on goes Sinatra or Ella or or whatever. What do you think? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's it's mood driven for me. My mood dictates whether or not I'm in for something really sort of wholesome and comforting, um, or if I'm in for something um, you know spicy and sort of out of left field. Uh -huh. And and music's the same way for me. Um, I think that the, the greatest similarity is though is that one feeds the stomach and the other feeds the soul. And in turn, they're, they're intertwinable. 